Hey, good morning, everybody. John Bergsman here live at Babbitt's out in Muskegon. And I'm telling you what, this is probably the fullest I've seen a showroom with product and models to choose from. Hey, stay with us. We've got a bunch of great fishing reports this week. And then at the end, we're going to talk to you about how you can get on and get a great deal on your Babbitt's side-by-side four-wheeler, motorcycle, AT, you name it. Babbitt's has got it, wave runners, all kinds of stuff uh, for you here. We've got some awesome reports this week, so stay tuned. So, hey, we're going to start out this week with a open water trolling. Now, uh, we are going to touch on ice fishing here a little bit later in the week, but we're going to start off with what's really unique. It happens maybe once every 10 years, where in the middle of January, you're able to open water troll here, right here in Michigan, and it's happening at... Tawas at Saginaw Bay, at Bulls Harbor and Sterling State Park, Lake St. Clair, you name it. There's great trolling going on right now. Of course, around the corner down in the Ohio region of Huron and Lorraine, we're going to touch on all those. And what I wanted to let you know before I get started is that we're going we're gonna to be posting these individual written reports from our guides and from contributors, guest, guest, guy, um, guest contributors, and they're gonna give you actually the leads they're using. And so watch the Facebook page, Fisherman's Digest Facebook page. And then each day in the uh, morning or afternoon, we're gonna post a report for whether it's Saginaw Bay or Monroe or uh, Lorraine. I know we've got a good one for Lorraine. And we're gonna tell you exactly where they're catching them, the leads and everything in a written report. So this is just kind of a teaser for you to watch to let you know what's going on. So we're gonna start off up in Tawas here. Uh, Mikey Parnicki from Real Operator Guide Service and John Borowie from Chase and Fins, both out of the Taos region, say that the fishing right now is lights out on the outer bay, the area up there by Taos. Lots of walleye they're catching. Um, they're, obviously, they're going to catch the incidental lake trout as well while they're fishing because those lakers are in tight. Trolling big crankbaits is the ticket. Again, watch later in the week for the exact posted uh, report that we're gonna put up there in written format. But if you're looking for a great opportunity to go fishing up there in the Taos region north, give Mikey Parnicki from Real Operator a call or John Borowie from Chase and Finn's Guide Service a call. They can get you out on the water. Now, if you slide down around the corner, uh, Cap, not Captain Lee Gould, but Lee Gould, who's a, a pro staff guy uh, for a whole bunch of different manufacturers and is a regular contributor for us, sent us an awesome report for Saginaw Bay. We also have Jason Graham from Send It Charters, uh, who has also uh, been a uh, contributor for us all year, well, actually the last several years. He's out of the Linwood Beach area at Send It Charters. And... Uh, I believe with this warm weather coming that the launch ramp there at uh, Linwood Beach Marina is also going to be open. You know, it's going to depend on the ice situation, but I know Jay was out there and they were breaking the ice up and letting people launch there to kind of ease the pressure on the state park launch, uh, which has just been a complete zoo. Saginaw Bay literally has been stupid good fishing. Lots of big fish coming in right now. Uh, so if you're looking to get out, Jason Graham can get you out there. There's other guys. Uh, Lee Gould went out just with his father-in-law. That's always a great way to go, uh, or a friend. Uh, there's just really good Saginaw Bay fishing going on right now all over the place. There's no one spot to talk about. There's small groups and small pods of fish, and uh, Lee was catching them on custom-painted Reapers, the deeper model of Reapers, and Bandits, those two. Uh, if you have dead eye minnows, those would work really well this time of year as well. Speed is really important and also using your electronics to identify and find those small groups of fish. Lee wasn't using so much down scan as he was using side scan and cruising along slowly and seeing the fish off to his side. Because one thing right now that's happening in Saginaw Bay is the water is super clean. We haven't had a lot of big winds and uh, rains or runoff. So that water is cleaned up really, really good. And so you're gonna have to find those pods of fish on side scan rather than down scan because they're scooting out away from the boat and you're probably not marking them even if you're right in an active or a good school of fish. Little tip for you. So uh, pay attention to side scan when you're out there fishing in that gin clear water. 
Uh, we're going to take a little quick break, and then we're going to go down to Bowles Harbor, talk about Bowles Harbor. We're going to swing around the corner and talk about Lorraine and Huron. Awesome, great fishing happening right now. Midwest Steel Carports is Michigan's premier steel building manufacturer. We manufacture and install custom steel buildings throughout Michigan. Our engineer certified steel buildings are fully tailored to fit your every need and our up to 40 year warranty protects your investment. From residential storage sheds to commercial warehouses, let our team work with you to find your ideal building. For more information and pricing, visit MidwestSteelCarports.com. So hey guys, we're gonna start over in Lorain, Ohio and kind of work our way this way. Uh, Captain Tim Joseph, Joseph from Lighthouse Fishing Adventures uh, was fishing out of Lorraine this past weekend and absolutely crushed the fish. Very good report. Fishing big crankbaits, whether you're using big reapers or, or dead-eye minnows or bandits, those are the three primary baits now. It seems like most of the guys are fishing. They mix a few P10s in, but most of them are running those baits. Tim was running his back 60 to 80. That was the critical lead back. Speed was critical also at 1-2 to 1-3. Obviously, guys, even though we've got soft water, the water is very cold. You know, you know, 33, 34, 35 degrees at most. Um, and so speed is going to be really slow no matter where you fish, even on the sunny, nice days. Now, Tim said he was finding his best fish in 47 feet of water straight out of Lorraine. Uh, so that gives you a, a starting point. Lots of fish, though. He said there was lots of marks of fish. You could probably go north or south. You could go all over the place out there and mark fish, find active pods of walleye. The, really, the key is use big crankbaits uh, and go slow and throw multiple different colors. I still am a believer, even in the super cold water, of bright day, bright baits, and cloudy day, darker baits. So you can kind of plug that in whatever you want. Um, I usually fish with dead eye minnows or reapers and a combination of those two baits. Those are two baits that the walleyes haven't seen a lot of, and so I think they bite them really willingly. It's a little bit different. Act well, the, the reaper, the deep reaper, and the dead eye have two completely different actions. That's the other reason I like pairing those two baits together at the same time because I can really lock in very quickly what type of action the fish is most leaning to. And then of course you can put more of that bait out if you want. It could also be a color. So um, again, give uh, Tim Joseph a call if you wanna get out. There's not a lot of guys who are still guiding this time of year. You could call Matt Lieben also from Slow Trolling. I know he's out in that uh, general area. He maybe uh, have his boat in a barn where he can just yank it. I know we've got two weeks right now coming up of just incredibly warm weather for this time of year. The launches are gonna be open. The fishing is gonna be absolutely stupid. So if you can get out there, give one of those guys a call. Now let's slide over a little ways here uh, towards, uh, I know Huron, uh, Jason Heights went out of Huron, a buddy of mine, and he whacked him out of Huron too. So you can go right from Lorraine to Huron to Port Clinton. Uh, you can go all the way through and end up at Bowles Harbor. Now the Monroe bite at Bowles Harbor, Dan Woodward told me, has been absolutely great. Um, Dan Woodward runs Blue Line Sport Fishing Charters. Uh, just get a hold of him. He's based right there in the southern Detroit area, so he busts right down to Bowles Harbor. It's kind of his home water, whether it's Detroit River or Bowles Harbor or Sterling State Park. Dan is an expert at that. Dan says that there's lots of fish being caught right now out of that area too. Of course, it makes sense. They're staging right there, getting ready for the spring run up the Detroit River. Got to imagine on a windy day, guys, too, the Detroit River is going to be hot and heavy. That is going to be filled with big walleyes right now uh, and lots of good mid-sized walleyes. Um, that just goes without saying. Anytime you get to late November on, the Detroit River is packed with nice walleyes. So if you go down there to fish and you get blown off the big lake, don't be a bit afraid to go employ Detroit-style river fishing that you do in the spring right here in the middle of the f late fall and winter and catch lots of fish. So Blue Line Charters, Dad Woodward. I know Nick Dode from Real Live Action Sport Fishing also fishes that area real extensively. Uh, he could probably get you out as well. So two more big water reports. 
Uh, we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna slide all the way across the bridge for guys who still wanna ice fish because we've got some really good spots that ice fishing is going very well. The Bait Shop in Waterford is your one-stop live bait and fishing tackle destination. With an awesome selection of rods and reels, custom poured jigs, soft plastics, and panfish baits. The Bait Shop also has seasonal items for ice fishing, the Spring River Walleye Run, and summer salmon, bass, walleye, and pan fishing. Visit the bait shop in Waterford for all your bait and tackle needs. So hey guys, welcome back. Uh, you know, we're talking about ice fishing now because there still is ice fishing going on. And, and I'm gonna throw this right out there right away. Uh, I'm not gonna go ice fishing probably below the bridge for the next couple weeks just because I think it's real sketchy. There is a few guys fishing on Cadillac. There is a few guys fishing on Houghton Lake. Um, of course, they're not utilizing the whole lake because the ice is really definitely not worthy of uh, four wheelers or quads or anything like that. If you wanna go ahead and walk out on a, some of these shallower bodied lakes, uh, that are in that central, north central part of Michigan, you may be able to hand walk out and pull a, pull a sled out there and get out on four or five inches of ice. But again, just like Chris Canazo from Pilgrim's Village told me on the phone, you've got to treat this like first ice. You've got to be spudding every step. You've got to be very, very careful and really shy away from fishing deep holes in the lake because those deeper holes, the ice is probably not gonna be as thick on top of them. So uh, again, just tons and tons of cautious, uh, caution. I'm not gonna tell you to go. I'm also not gonna tell you not to go. There's a few places you can fish, but I wouldn't be running machines anywhere. Now, crossing the bridge, machines all day long. We got three great spots that are going and have been going for the last month, literally. Uh, and that is Lake Ogiebic, uh, Justin Sofa uh, from F Fishing Guide Service. Uh, Justin Sofa and Brett will put his uh, contact information on the screen. Big jumbo sized perch are being caught up on Gogebic right now and travel is very, very good. Uh, they had it melt down and then refreeze and so, so you've got not just tons of snow all over the place, nor do you have a lot of slush. They've been far enough north that they've avoided a lot of this really warm weather and so they've been able to refreeze every night, keep their ice and it's been very good. Same situation is true up in the Marquette County area with Mike Cosiera and Mike Marquette Adventures Guide Service. Mike told me he's got just a couple of spots left in January and in early February. Guys, they have been catching some really nice crappie, gills, walleye, and northern pike on inland lakes. Now, of course, Lake Erie's not froze up for them yet. Not Lake Erie, I'm sorry, Lake Superior. And so they're waiting on that so that they can get out on the main lake superior and show you that great burbot fishing and also some silverfish fishing. But the inland lake fishing has been lights out good and Mike can get you out there. Now let's slide down over to uh, Uper Gold and that is uh, Tristan Meiskerer. He has been guiding over on Little Badenoch and he said, God, it's been as good as he's seen in several years there. Lots of limits of just a lot of different year classes of fish. Um, been setting up in traditional areas. Of course, same situation. You wanna really avoid the big open waters of the Michigan, of the first part of the bay. You wanna get from the Gladstone Narrows in and you wanna go up to the north end of that bay where you've got good locked in ice and it's really safe. Now. You might uh, also pay attention to avoiding the mouths of the rivers when you get way up on the north end. You're gonna have the Days River and the Ogans River and some other rivers flowing in. You might wanna use some caution around the mouths of those rivers. It isn't as blazing cold as it's been in the past for this time of year, even up there. So, you know, you've got good ice around the inner part of the bay, but you still wanna be careful when you're working around any river mouths up there. But lots of fish, Center Reef has been pr pr producing lots of fish. Third Reef has been producing lots of fish. Also shoreline breaks, um, setting up a spread of tip ups and working shoreline breaks. They're also mi mixing in some good perch with their walleye catches. So again, Uper Gold and Tristan will get you out on the water and take care of you and get your group out. And that's the way I suggest you learn any of these bodies of water that I talk about. 
just buck up and pay a guide to take you for a weekend, a couple of days, drive up there on a Friday, stay Saturday, fish Sunday, or drive up there on a Thursday, fish Friday, Saturday, drive home Sunday, whatever you choose to do. If you have a guide in charge of your party of four or six guys, you split that six ways, it's not very expensive, is he's gonna take you to the best spots and he's gonna show you the proper setups. So if you in the future decide uh, you wanna come and give it a whirl yourself, at least you have a mental comprehension of exactly how you're supposed to attack those bodies of water. So that's a really important thing. But hey, lots of good ice fishing happening in the UP right now. Uh, limited ice fishing below the bridge, very selected lakes with extreme caution. Hey, get out there, enjoy it. And guess what? This week is show week over in Detroit, Novi. We're gonna be over there speaking at the show each day, talking to people about fishing. Uh, so it's at the Suburban Show Place Collection, and uh, it's going to be an awesome event Thursday through Sunday. You can see Kevin Van Dam on Thursday. The show ends with appearance from Mark Zona on Sunday, and we'll have lots of good speakers in between. We'll see you there in, in Detroit. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. We're right here at Babbitt Sports Center on Airline Road in Muskegon. Guys, if you look behind me, it is just crazy right here. This place is loaded up. If you want great selection of machines, whether it's side-by-sides, ATVs, I'm seeing snowmobiles in the background, uh, dirt bikes, all kinds of different stuff. I'm sure that uh, they've got wave runners in the far corner. So basically anything and everything that you've ever wanted for your outdoor fun and recreational needs, Babbitt's has got it and they've got it in spades right now. Lots of selection. So you wanna get down here while the picking is good. Now this is show seasons. So that means Babbitt's I'm sure is gonna show up at the Grand Rapids Sports Show and other events. They're gonna be having uh, lots of people coming in and out of the store, making their orders for the summer. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna get the best selection, which means they can choose the machine they want at the colors they want. So the longer you wait, the less selection you have. So we do encourage you to get down here, put your name on it, put a deposit down. You can get that sale done, take delivery in the spring. You know what? Babbitt's has got it right now all the different models, all the different products that you want for your year-round fun, come on down to Airline Road in Muskegon and visit Babbitt's.